Alright guys, we're back here today for the start of episode 2 of the current Singapore tour for Mario Kart Tour. It is the 13th of January today and it's day 2 of the tour so let's jump straight into the today's challenge. Quick play Pauline Rose in Aramex Savannah Lake 1 in the Funky Kong Cup. The game also gave me the dark blue birder turbo as well as the black great sail. Oh, so it's only the blue turbo bird though. I mean, there's another one that is the light blue version, but it's okay. I mean, I thought this was gonna be like emphasis emphasize on the dark blue, but whatever. So here are our max vanilla lake one that is returning after quite some time, and anyway, we're starting off this race with a, a fire flower frenzy. I'm just gonna throw most of these fire flowers backwards. Unfortunately, I hit a Luigi's back trail banana. Ooh, got that hit on to Rosalina. Fire Rosalina, by the way. Oh, that green shell's very, very close proximity to build a Luigi in front. Ooh, got that hit on to Luigi. That was a nice green shell throw. Because it was in the air, by the way, so that's why I kind of deem it as amazing uh, snipe right there. Do I still have the non-stop combo? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it will not have any more. I just lost it as I said that. Should have kept quiet about that. But nonetheless, it will be a first place finish with a total score of 13,969 points. I almost hit 14k because it's very, very close to 14k. But I'll just round it off to 14k. Why not? 8.9k for 5 stars, 45 coins, 10 tokens. And the second day of the TCP here today will give us 1,000 coins. Alright, we have another tour challenge done straight off our first race of this episode. It's gonna be the gold challenges, activate frenzy mode 5 times using a driver with a hat. Oh, Pauline Rose actually wears a hat? I did not really notice that. Oh yeah, she does, it's actually a really small hat. But anyway, let's move on into Snap A Photo Challenge. We'll be playing as the new Luigi Vacation in the skies of Singapore Speedway. So we're going to be also greeted with another two characters. We have Mario Sunshine and Funky Kong. I'm not sure why Funky Kong is there. But okay, let's go. Two or more drivers, a cart gliding, and of course take a photo are the requirements for this snappy photo challenge. So we're going to be doing it here of course. Oh wait, I think that was too too slow. Okay, we, don't worry, we can always uh, go for this ramp right here. Oh, I think this is good. I think this is really good. This is a, actually a really nice photo. I'm just going to try and... And do just adjust a little bit and let's go take it a photo and there we go two or more drivers checked a cart gliding check and of course just simply uh, take their photo it's an easy check right there and there we go easy snappy photo done and also I got a quite nice shot which is also gonna be nice for my uh, my gallery and there we go we are done with the Funky Kong Cup ah I guess I see why Funky Kong is in that uh, snappy photo challenge race it's gonna be because it's his cup. But let's move on into the Lemmy Cup. We have Choco Island 2T. Let's play as Lemmy. Oh wait, no, not 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 play as Lemmy. I mean, Lemmy said the cover of the track. But we'll go with uh, level seven King Boo, and then the level seven DK Jumbo, as well as the level seven. We'll go with the Paper Glider. Why not? We're not using any high ends in this race. But maybe if I would like to, you know, get those high scores, maybe I can use some high ends. But I'll go with this setup for now. We are using a full level 7 setup, if I am not mistaken. Alright, we've got the back green on to Morton. Not gonna care about the gliding ramp. Of course, gonna get a red shell. But it's okay, this coin frenzy will definitely get me out of that uh, stop. And right off the bat, we have another banana frenzy. Well, not, well another frenzy, but it's gonna be the banana frenzy. 
This time we'll take the, gl gl the gliding ramp. Oh, I missed the ramp there. So we've got an extra little, uh, you know, action, but okay. I uh, got a little bit of a control error right there, but it's okay. I'm gonna get that first place finish with a total score of 26,150 points. If only I did not get that, you know, kind of miss, miss a control there. We're gonna definitely uh, maintain the combo until the end, but it's okay. That's still a really good race. 26,150 points, 6.2k for 5 stars, 60 coins, and 13 tokens. And I'm just gonna skip those two races for now because I would like to use those characters in the today's challenges coming up later on. So let's move on into the challenge race. We have break item boxes. Yep, break item boxes. As we are playing with Mario in DK's... Uh, Snow Pass. Sorry, Snow Pass. DK Snow Pass? Oh, wait, no, D DK Pass. Okay, there we go mistakenly did that okay so they gave us five flowers in the beginning maybe it's just to get rid of that big snowball we actually have more uh, fire flowers coming up oh so the item boxes here actually trails behind this big snowball so quite cool to see oh got that hit okay the fireball kind of reflected off the wall and we were able to kind of keep this fireball on hand oh missed two although well, that turn was quite sharp we have a few more boxes here to go I think this is a new uh, version of the you know, the break item boxes challenge. I have never seen this one before, if I remember correctly. Oh, I missed another one. Unless if you can actually hit the boxes with the fire flower, I don't, I don't think so. But okay, so I missed three in that race, so it's gonna be 45 boxes maximum. I got 42, which is still very, very good, since only 28 is needed for the three star requirement. So we are definitely okay and moving on. And there we go, that's the end, no, well not really the end because we still have not played the two courses up here, but so let's move on into the Yoshi Cup. And I guess I'll play another two tracks from this cup. We have Toad Circuit R, and I want to use, who do I want to use? Uh, I'll go with Diddy Kong, let's create some chaos over the roads of Toad Circuit. We're gonna go with the Off-Roader and the Flower Glider. Uh, I picked the Off-Roader as compared to the B Dasher because of its uh, jump boost plus. Is it the jump boost plus or the the mini turbo plus? I'm not too sure, but I just wanted to pick this because of that. I mean, there are no dash panels in this track. And, uh, and because of how the this off-roader cart is actually big, I really like it. I like the design since Mario Kart Wii. That banana is gonna hit on to Luigi. Oh, we got the hit on to uh, Toad Pit Crew. Ooh, that green shell was a very nice throw. It ricocheted, or reflected actually, reflected off that signboard. And it hit on to whoever that was. Ah, oh, should have not used that banana. I was not expecting the red shell to come like literally right after I threw that banana off. But that banana is going to find its way on to Monty Mole just now. Oh my god. Ricky Bobby with a bullet bill. Almost hitting me though. We need to take it right here. That's a payback. I, I guess. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. But anyways, that's gonna be a first place finish with a total score of 18,373 points. I unfortunately did not get any banana cannon, which I was expecting to, but it's okay. We still got that first place. 5.9k for 5 stars, 45 coins, and 9 tokens. We have another tour challenge done. Let's see what this challenge is all about. So we're in the total points challenge, 250,000 point threshold that's going to give us 3 rubies as well as 1 cart points cap up super ticket. And 
while I was kind of grinding off camera, I got the 200,000 point special as well that gave me 1,000 coins and one super card points cap up ticket. No, no that's not points cap, but that's level up ticket. Moving on to Neo Bowser CDT. Interesting. I'll go with Meowser, level 3. We have the P-Wing, as well as the Cheap Cheap Masks. Alright, Neo Bowser City, a track that's been on hold, I guess, after a while, coming back here in this tour. Ooh, that, that bomb actually might do some damage. Apparently, that guy's bananas will do damage onto me. I, think, I don't think my bomb actually hit anyone, unfortunately. Oh my god, that red shell. Quite a laggy race. I mean, considering how rich this course is with its graphics. Thank you for the mushroom effect, Iggy. Oh god, that green shell hit onto Iggy. Somehow. Now we're coming into the second lap. Oh my god. And more unfortunate, I did not get that mini turbo. I mean, I literally released my mini turbo or my drift at that part just as I got hit with a green shell, of course. Totally an unexpected race right here. I was just about to use my ticket, but I just remembered that there's gonna be a coin box right there. Need a ticket? Okay, a frenzy. Not a really good frenzy, but I'll take it. We'll take any frenzies that we can. Ooh, a coin box, okay. I, I cannot see the puddles guys, I literally am just drifting blind at that part. I literally did not see the puddles, but okay, I was able to evade those puddles somehow. But that's gonna be quite a poor finish, 6th place, but we got 16,900 points. If I got the first maybe I could have definitely crossed that 25,000 points plus. But okay, I'll take it, I can always come back later off camera, off recording to boost out my score if I want to. 8.4k for 5 stars, 37 coins, 9 tokens. So I'm gonna claim my Torgus. We're gonna get 300 coins, 10 rubies, Wendy, the Black Bee Dasher, Wendy 9 of 20 level 6, as well as the driver skill up for a normal. And that's Black Bee Dasher, a free level up to level 4. And I'm gonna open up the uh, Bowser Jr. Cup real quick. There we go. This is the PGP Cup, by the way. So that's gonna be about it for this recording. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Singapore Speedway R with Luigi Vacation. Alright guys, we're back here again once again. It's the 14th of January as I'm recording this. It's Friday. It's the third day of the Singapore Tour. And let's just jump straight into the today's challenge. Quick play Luigi Vacation on Singapore Speedway R in the Lemmy Cup. The game also gave me the Sakura Quick Show, which I believe is also my only top shelf card for this course, as well as the Planet Glider. Alright, so this is our first time going to be playing as a Luigi Vacation, which just debuted this tour, of course. Alright, gonna do some early chaos right there. And of course, I, by the way, I do not have a Luigi Vacation in my roster. Just to, you know, m uh, get that out if you guys did not know that. So, this is one of the many ways that I am able to play with him. Which is of course through the Today's Challenges Quick Play. As I have always been, you know, doing that for the past few tours now. One of the, I guess, the only ways that you can play as the character that you do not have in your roster. Ooh, cat turns a bomb. Of course, of course, cat turn will come towards the left side, right?
Okay, unfortunately no frenzy in this race, but we'll take that first place finish with a total score of 11,547 points. And also, I don't think I have a regular top shelf driver for this course, so I think this is the only way that I can get those three item boxes. But anyways, let's see our points. 7.3k for 5 stars, we got 11,559 points, 30 coins, and 4 tokens. And let's open up the TCP for the third day of the tour, and it's going to be 1,000 coins. Alright, and that's another tour challenge done. It's gonna be right there in the dead middle of the first tour challenge sheet. Get third place or higher in a race 30 times. And that's gonna be... Ooh, three rows done. That's gonna give us 150 coins. And we have the next uh, threshold for total points challenge, 300,000 points, 1,000 coins, and 10 item tickets. Alright, now let's move on into the Yoshi Cup. I'm gonna... Uh, just kind of stall for Sunset Wars R so that I can play as Daisy Swimwear tomorrow. So let's move on to DK Pass R. We have quite a number of characters up here, but we'll I'll go with Yoshi level seven, and then the Gold Train level five, Starshoot level five. Oh, we're bringing in the big guns this time around, the big level ups, the big levels of these items. Definitely gonna get that high score. But of course, to get a high score, you have to work for it. So let's go. Let's see if I can get a non stop combo. You have to do some weird sneaking right there. But still, our combo is still active. And we'll get the very first frenzy of this race from the very first item boxes, of course. It's gonna be the Mega Mushroom Frenzy. Ooh, I got a shock! Nice! I'll wait for that Mario in the front to become small and yep, there we go! Alright, that is some combo streak right there, I would say. Got a Yoshi egg. Doing some extreme drifting right here and here we go! Just as we are about to come into the second lap, we have a coin frenzy. So maybe the chances of us getting three frenzies in this race is totally going to be very, very high. Alright, we're now at a combo count of 97. Plus. We should take it right here. Alright, it was it was very close for another uh, coin frenzy. One game, give me another frenzy. Oh, okay, so looks like we'll only be getting two frenzies this race. But we got a total combo of 152. With a non-stop combo, 30,760 points. That is insane. But I mean, I would say insane because it's a regular track, not a trick variant. So I would say it is insane for 30k plus on a normal track. So yeah, 8.9k for 5 stars, we got 104 coins and 23 tokens. That was amazing. And we have another tour challenge done. Let's see what this challenge is. I think it's going to be in the gold challenges sheet, maybe. Yep. Use lightning, just straight up the bat, just use lightning. I mean, if you guys are struggling to get the lightning item, just go for... Just stay at the back, maybe 8th or 7th place, and you'll definitely get a chance to get that lightning. Two rows done, there's gonna be 50 coins. And I'm just one more mission away to complete this tour's gold challenges. Oh, racing auto mode, I can definitely do that later. And for expert challenges, I think I, will I just have done two here. Activate Frenzy mode three times in single race. So this is where the rare things happen. Get a combo count of 100 times or higher, a total of five times. So that, there we go. I actually got that off camera, so that's why you guys did not know. Moving on to time trial, we have Wario in Waluigi Pinball. Okay, why did they give me Wario instead of Waluigi, the man himself? I mean, that man has his face all over this course.
I'm just gonna go inside right here. Is that a trick variant? I think it's a trick variant. Oh wait, never mind. I don't think it's a trick variant. It's just a regular R variant, I guess. Yep, definitely a regular R variant. I just got a little bit confused with that little ramp at the beginning in the pinball section. So I guess the the strategy here for this time trial in this course is just to not get hit by the pinballs. I'll just take the inside route right here for now. I, I'm not sure if, if going with the dash panels at the very far end there is a better. Or faster I should say. But that's gonna be 50, 50 for our first lap. Let's try and maintain that. I still have not used a mushroom. I mean, this course does not really have any shortcuts that you can use to, you know what I mean, use your mushrooms to cut off certain parts. I'll use one here. Oh, maybe I should have used it uh, after my mini turbo is out. Then that would have been more better, I guess. Alright, avoiding the pinballs like a champ. Maybe we can use a mushroom right here if we wanted to take this uh, part here, if we wanted to take inside. Then maybe it's better to use a mushroom. I should have used the first mushroom in the first lap. But anyways, that's gonna be the time trial done with a total time of 1 minute 53 seconds 77 milliseconds or 153.77. And maybe for 3 stars it's gonna be 2.5? 2.10, okay. I was trying to predict that very fast, but okay, it's gonna be 210, it should be no problem. I mean I finished the first lap without even using a mushroom at one at 58 seconds, so it should be okay. 15 coins, and there we go, we are done with the Yoshi Cup. And gonna play Mario Circuit 1T right here. We have Ooh, well, I have three characters with coin boxes, but I'll go with of course Pink Gold Peach level 6. We have the B Dasher. And the gold glider. Ah, this is where we are bringing in the level 6s and level 7s. I mean, pink gold peach level 6, the B dasher level 6 also, right? And then my gold glider level 7. Ooh, we're gonna get that high score, baby. But I think this course is quite short, so I don't think we're gonna get that much of a high score. But we'll see. I would not say that was a good coin box, but it was still a mediocre coin box, I would say. Ooh, got that green shell hit onto Metal Mario. Gonna get that green shell hit as well onto Dry Bowser. And here we go, coin box frenzy. I mean, this course is very short, so the possibilities on getting uh, three frenzies or even two is actually already quite uh, rare. I think the most thing that you can get is two because of the you know the rules that if you want to get uh, frenzies, it cannot be back to back. I mean, if you get a frenzy, then the next box will not give you a frenzy. It should be maybe at least one or two of the same items, and then after that, you will be eligible again to get a frenzy. So yeah, that's, we only got one frenzy, but. It's gonna be the coin box frenzy just now that's pretty amazing on itself as well 23,748 points 6.6k for 5 stars 64 coins and 9 tokens and we have another tour challenge done let's see what this one is all about I think it's gonna be in the total points yep 350,000 points threshold is gonna give us 3 rubies 5 driver point boost tickets 5 cart point boost tickets and 5 glider point boost tickets so we're done with the first total points challenge sheet now on to the second one, which is gonna go from 400k to 900k. And by the way, I, I actually in my walkthroughs that I've played in the tours before this, I don't think I've never even reached 900k. I think the best was like 800k plus. So this is gonna be quite the grind if I would like to reach that 900,000 milestone. But whatever, we'll see how it goes. Moving on to Aramax Vernal Lake 1T. Oh, I have quite a number of characters up here. I mean, actually when this of course, uh, first uh, came out back then. I literally did not have anyone <laughs> in the top shelf for me. But then I started to get lucky with the 
characters here. So yeah, quite lucky to have these characters up here. But I'll go with uh, Luigi Painter. Still no top shelf card though. I'll go with the Ice Dozer. And the only top shelf glider, which is going to be the Gold Home Field Glider, which I actually just got last tour, I believe, from the Gold Pipe. So I guess the Gold Pipe was quite clutch. Came in clutch for me to get that g glider so that I can have a top shelf for this course. Ooh, someone has a coin box. That's Kamek right there. But of course, when you go on these, uh, you know, these structures right here, it's gonna be a little bit bugged uh, of how the, those coins kind of just go out, just go through the structure. Okay, got the red shell into Blue Yoshi. Wasn't planned though. He just came right at me. I was trying to kind of sneak a little bit so that I can maintain my combo. Ooh, that bomb though. Sneaky, sneaky Kamek. Kamek just got a bomb in first place though. I mean, in this game, that is definitely possible. I've, uh, I've also definitely got that once. Oh god dang it, the shock ruined me. I went over uh, the dash panel and of course I lost the combo. Thank you so much shock for doing that to me. Once again, no frenzies in this race, but we'll take that first place finish. With a total score of 16,207 points. Eleven thousand one hundred for five stars, fifty-four coins, and seventeen tokens. All right, so I'm gonna quickly open up the Baby Luigi Cup right here. Ooh, Singapore Speedway Two with Daisy Swimwear. I see. There's gonna be a potential future today's challenge quick play. But as I went out the tour gifts, we're gonna be getting glider point boost ticket, cart point boost ticket, as well as skill up tickets for supers for those categories. I'm going to go into the shop real quick and let's see what I can get for myself through the daily selects. Uh, I'll take the Donkey Kong. That's going to be 5 of 8, level 6 for him. Just 3 more level up, level ups to go. And I also want to uh, grab this question mark block from the token shop. And now it is going to be level 7. And I'm just going to grab the Black Shy Guy. 4 of 5, level 5 right now. As well as the Yoshi Turbo, or Turbo Yoshi actually, one of eight level six. All right, so that's all for today's recording. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Sunset Wilds R with Daisy Swimwear. All right, an intermission clip here. I just finished one race in auto mode, and I'm gonna be claiming everything in the gold challenges right there. Race in auto mode, one of the missions in the gold challenges this tour. Claim that two grand stars. And alongside 3 rows done, 150 coins, and completing the whole gold challenge sheet will get you 5 rubies as always. So that's pretty much about this intermission clip, back to the main recording. Alright guys, we're back here today, it is the 15th of January, it is Saturday today, and we're going to be knowing the next ranked cup, so it's going to be the 3rd cup, I think it was the... What was it? It was the Comet Cup, okay? So yeah, Purple Cup free running is a reward for placing high in their high ranked cup for the second half of the tour as well so yeah these two weeks just try to get the top three or top five depending on your tier in which you can then get yourself a, a free copy of the purple koopa free running so without any further ado let's jump into the today's challenge for today daisy swimwear on gba sunset wilds r in the lemmy cup and i guess after this we will, we will be finally finishing off the lemmy cup after like two days of a delay the game gave me the off-roader cart as well as the crimson crane glider Alright, so Daisy Swimwear, let's go. She debuted back in the... what was it? I'm not sure. Uh, it was the Summer Tour when Cheap Cheap Island uh, debuted back then. Ooh, King Bob Bob with the red shell and I, of course, I kind of anticipated that. Because I was kind of going too close towards him. Ooh, I used the mushroom just in case if I had to run in towards that sh exploring shy guy. Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, uh, that Black Yoshi had a revolving bomb, so that's why I got hit. 
Okay, this race has been terrible for us so far. I mean, like, it's always has been the Tourist Challenges quick place here that the race is going so bad. Well, not so bad. I mean, like, it's not really lucky. We're, we are getting hit left and right, but we are now in second place as we cross the finish line. Coming into the second lap, I'm gonna take this inside like that. Interesting. And also, if you guys don't have uh, Daisy Swimwear in your roster, you can definitely go on and get yourself one of the banners that actually offer her. I think she's in this week's banner. I am, of course, not gonna get the banners because it is very expensive. I mean, it is around 20 US dollars, and if it is converted into my local currency, which is gonna be roughly. If, it, if it's $30, it's gonna be around. Let's see, it's gonna be around $100 plus. Because uh, one USD is like four times in MYR, Malaysian Ringgit. But yeah, anyways, that's first place, 14,468 points. I mean, with 100 Ringgit, I can literally buy like 10 sets of MACDs here in Malaysia. 7.4k for 5 stars, 25 coins, 3 tokens. And the TCP for our fourth day here today, it is going to be 300 coins. And I guess that's it about the Lemmy Cup. Yep, it is. Alright, so I have a coin to play the event today. It's gonna be the Monty Mole Cup. Interesting. Uh, actually, the cup just also opened up today. So, okay. I guess we'll have to do that, I guess. So, let, let's move on into the Monty Mole Cup right now. Dino Dino Jungle R. Back to the 300 coins per race, as usual. Have quite a number of top shells, but I'll go with... Gold Cooper free running. I also have all the top shelf drivers for this course by the way. Level 7 what's that? Flame Flyer? As well as the level 6 swooper. And yeah, as you guys saw my Gold Cooper is now level 6. I think I mentioned in the beginning or somewhat there in the last episode, the first episode, where I kinda did use all some, not all, some of my well actually most. Most of my level up tickets. Uh, you know, for high-end characters, drivers, and cars. Some of them may have already been leveled up. And I'm not sure why is this course taking so long. I think my Wi-Fi is a little bit having a problem. But I guess I'll just cut out some of those extra loading times if I want to. Okay, uh, we are back. So, I'm not sure why. I think my Wi-Fi... Kind of having a little bit of problems, but it's okay. We are now in the race. Hopefully, no lags or delay will happen after this. But yeah, Gold Cooper free running. Mao level six, one of the I guess mediocre goal characters with a coin box that you can use, and has quite a coverage of tracks. I would have to say. Okay, still have the combo. I was expecting that. I was totally expecting Toadette right there to release the bombs on my face. And there we go. Lost the combo because of that. Ooh, we got a coin box in fourth place. That is interesting. I'll just use it right now. Wait, where did my bomb go? Okay, getting pushed around. No big deal. Used to it already. And here we go. The first frenzy of today is gonna be the Mega Mushroom Frenzy. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck between those dino legs. Are we in second place right now? Ah, I accidentally received the combo. No, not the combo, I mean the, the mini turbo. Just now. Ah, I did not get a mini turbo again. Unfortunate. Oh! Right, Bowser was literally right behind me. Like, literally on my. Uh, my cart's ass <laughs> and immediately got bombed in the face. Unfortunate for him. Bowser? Is that Bowser? The username is Bowser, but I don't think the, the driver is Bowser. Oh, another coin box at the same place nonetheless. Okay. Okay, I would say that was that is going to be a quite a good, uh, what do you call it, coin box? Got quite, oh god, of course. I guess today's recording. Today's races have not been the best of races. I just got hit by my own 
uh, green shell, guys. That was unfortunate, very unfortunate, but okay, I guess I'll be able to make use of that final coin box to the maximum. Okay, we'll, we'll be placing 5th place with 24,227 points. Not that good, but not that bad. I mean, I was able to get like 3 coin boxes in this race, which is already very, very good on its own. My Koopa le will level up to 1040. And I don't think my Flame Flare leveled up, right? 8.2k for 5 stars, 383 coins, 33 tokens. And we have another tour challenge done. I think this is going to be in the total points challenge. If not, it's going to be in the gold challenges. I, I think I'm already done with the gold challenges. Yep, total points challenges in the second sheet. The first one, 400,000 points threshold, 1,000 coins, and one cart skill up ticket. Right, now moving on to Mario Circuit 1. Yep, I definitely do have Mario Hakama. So yeah, I'll go with Mario Hakama, level 5. And then we have the Macaron, level 6. And the Gold Glider, level 7. Wow, 5, 6, 7. Nice number right there. And okay, you didn't have to wait too long uh, for this uh, screen to show up. Like last time. Okay, starting off this race with a Red Shell Frenzy. Alright, perfect. Alright, got that hit, banana hit onto Peach, who was trailing right behind me. Still have the combo going. Lisa take it right there. Okay, no coin box this race, but I guess we will be finishing this race in first place. Ooh, Luigi tried to snipe me with the red shell, but thank god I have those green shells behind me. It's gonna be first place non stop combo, 20,418 points. 6,000 for 5 stars, 358 coins, 16 tokens. Coming up is Bowser's Castle R, and I have two characters out here. I, I Oh, okay. I thought Peach Explorer was gonna be up here because I think I remember. I think that was the T variant. I'm not too sure. Well, I'll go with Nabbit and then we'll go with the Gold Cheap Charger as well as the level... Uh, I want to use the level 5 New Year's Kite, but I'll go with the level 3 Gold New Year's Kite for those level ups in terms of its base points. I'll always try to go for that first. I mean, I can always come back later if I want to, uh, you know, uh, get a high score. Okay, starting off this race with a green shell frenzy. And it's a little bit lagging, but not too bad. It's just what I would call the, the frame kind of drop. Oh, I got the red shell side hit onto, I think that was Cat Rosalina. Oh, lost the combo. I, I actually meant to uh, release the miniature earlier. I, I, I really did. I think because of the, the frame drop. My inputs get kind of eaten. So that is quite unfortunate, but guess not gonna care about that anymore. I did not expect that to come out right there, but okay. We're still safe going into first place past the checkpoint, or not the checkpoint, I mean the the, the what do you call it? Finish line. As we come into the second lap for Bowser's Castle and a blue shell's coming. And this green shell, once again, in the same place nonetheless from last lap, will save me from that blue shell explosion. And from that red shell as well, I guess. Yep, that's where my input gets eaten. That was, it was kind of so laggy right there, I was not able to conjure up a mini turbo. Yep, I kind of expected that, but I'll use a ticket right there just to get myself some items. Just in case of anything happening.
Looks like no third frenzy, but we are gonna be finishing this race in first place with a total score of 17,471 points. Right, my New Year's Gold Kite is going to be leveling up to, uh, what, 460 I guess is the next one? 10.6k for 5 stars, 347 coins, and 7 tokens. And let's just finish off the Monty Mole card right now. We have the combo attack. We are going to be playing as Toadette in Donut Plains 1. It's going to be a short one because it's SNES, SNES Donut Plains, so it's going to be... I mean, not that short, I mean, it's going to be quite short. So let's go! I think this is the trick variant of this course. Alright, so 5 is the minimum for the 1 star requirement. Oh, I missed the mini turbo. Uh, not, not a mini turbo, I mean, I missed the ramp because I used my mushroom and it went. kind of sent me off into the off road. I guess we'll take a flat 30 right here for this challenge and we are done with that. So maybe I'm going to be guessing like maybe around 20 around there for the 3 star requirement. What do you guys think? And in the reality it will be 16. Okay, that's quite low. But okay, I'll take it. And that's going to be the end of the Monty Bowl Cup. I think this cup, is supposed, yeah, this cup is supposed to be played in next episode but since the Coins of Plenty event dropped in this cup for me so I just have to play it right now. I guess we'll be playing 5 cups this episode just to make it a little bit longer. Let's just go on into the tour gifts right now and let's open up those two boxes. We have 10 rubies, we have 300 coins, we have driver tickets, specifically the point boost ticket as well as the skill up ticket for supers, as well as the blue royale free level up to level 3. And it gains one favorite course, the Koopa Troopa Beach Tea. And now I'm going to check my shop real quick. Let's see, ooh, a ticket, I'll grab that any day. I mean, I have a lot of coins from the daily Coins of Plenty event last tour. So why not? Why not just take that ticket for myself? And even though th that ticket actually did not even appear in the tier shot for me, right? Yeah, did not appear at all. So that was a good uh, catch for me. And yeah, I guess that's about it for this uh, recording. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Singapore Speedway with Luigi Painter. Alright guys, we're back here today for the 16th of January recording. It is Sunday, but here we have the Pauline Pipe, the special pipe for this tour. It will start off with 50 things in it and the glittering parasol glider is in the spotlight. So let's check out this pipe real quick and let's see what it has to offer. Every variant of Pauline that has appeared in the game and carts and gliders perfect for the city are here. The pipe starts off with 50 things in it, tap details to learn more. Of course, the only spotlight item is going to be the glittering parasol where it debuts in the spotlight right here. Glittering Parasol Super Horn Plus, it has DK passes and of course one of the new Singapore Speedway T in its base favorite uh, tracks. You can get Singapore Speedway normal when you level it up to level 6. So let's check out the specific details of this pipe and let's see the distribution. So 2% chance of getting the Glittering Parasol, high end, uh, what do you call it, uh, high end glider. We have Pauline, Pauline Party Time and Pauline Rose, 1.33% each. As goes for the yellow taxi, platinum taxi, and red taxis for carts, and magic parasol and rose parasol for gliders. Well, only magic parasol and rose parasol gliders will only have 1% each since the glittering parasol is already a spotlight. So, and you can only receive a two of each of the drivers and carts, and one of the regular high ends, and of course, one high end spotlight from this pipe. So, you can basically only get a maximum of six high end from this pipe. So I guess I'm just going to uh, do one 10 times pull and let's see where we ca what we can get from this pipe. Hopefully it's a gold pipe in the very beginning. Ah, it's a gold pipe. So we are definitely uh, confirmed to get at least one high end. So let's go and pull on this pipe and let's see what high end or high ends that we're going to get from this pipe. The first one will be Shy Guy. Marshmallow, second one. The third one will be the Parafoil. Next one is the Cheap Charger. The fifth one will be Peach, so halfway through and no high ends yet. Maybe they are all in the bottom half. Alright, we got the Rose Parasol, a new glider for me, so I'm not too, you know, disappointed. So yeah, it has the Red Shell Plus, new collection for me. Let's see if there are any more high ends in this pipe. 
We have the pipe frame for the sixth one. Oh wait, the seventh one. Baby Luigi, we have have it on the eighth one. The red kitty card, eleven or twenty level six. And I think this is the final one. And this is gonna be the lightning oil paper, one of eight level six. All right, we got uh, the rose parasol, not bad. But yeah, let's go on and jump into the today's challenge. Day five of the tour, we have Luigi Painter on Singapore Speedway in the pink gold peach cup. The game also gave me the jet cruiser as well as the black great sail. So I have Luigi Painter, I just uh, kind of just want to use him right here, let's see what you know, the game wants to give me. Oh, it was kind of too late to hit Luigi with the green shell. I was able to get him there. Coming into the cannon. They got that Goomba. Poor Goomba. Sorry, had to. Of course. But the guy in first got a carnival, so I'm just gonna try and make use of that. Lost the combo. I think I only have a middle shelf glider for this course, I'm not too sure. Oh, it's Pink Gold Peach in first place right there. Will this green shell hit her? Or not? Apparently not. But I'll take the second place finish with a total score of 13,056 points. Pingo Peach got her breakaway, that was good for her. 7.8k for 5 stars, 44 coins, 11 tokens. And 5 rubies from the today's challenge cup or to today's challenge pipe for day 5. Still clear of obstacles, we have Larry in Neo Bowser City. Alright, so let's see what kind of hazards are there. It's gonna be of course those water puddles in the ground. Of course gonna try and avoid them. Oh, I kinda had a wrong input there, but it's okay. We're still going. Okay, those codes that are just before the ramp does not really mean anything. Okay, we'll be following the coins and avoid the cones as much as we can. I mean, at least this course does not have any, like, you know, uh, character uh, obstacles like piranha plants or stuff. Okay, we're gonna stay in the right lane for this part. And we have to take this uh, ramp right here to get over the water puddles. I'm gonna stay outside, and then middle, and then outside again. And then left side, or middle, I suppose. And there we go, easy 3 balloons intact, easy 3 stars. That was the easiest uh, don't crash challenge I have ever seen. 44 coins, that's quite a lot for a challenge race. And there we go, the pink gold peach is done. I guess we can do one more uh, cup, so let's go with Dino Dino Jungle. In the Bowser Jr. Cup, we have Gold Koopa Free Running, the Flame Flyer, as well as the Swooper. Right, Peach Explorer hit my, uh, what was that? My banana. Why 
Why do I even care about the non-stop combo? I think that's, I think that's Meowser's uh, coin box behind me. Yep, he has another coin box. I'm just gonna try and make use of those tokens that he dropped onto the ground. Oh, going off the geyser was quite a appropriate to thing to do there because I was able to avoid that mega fire bro. Peter Explorer hitting my bomb once again. Ooh, that green shell. Of course. That's an instant a revenge right there. Right, the double red shell. Yoshi could not take that. Now we're in first place. Let's try and maintain this first place. Hopefully nothing happens in this final few seconds of this race. So unfortunately no frenzies and no coin box whatsoever from this race. Quite unfortunate, but we'll take this first place finish with a total score of 24,812 points. Seven point six K for five stars, forty-four coins, eight tokens. Moving on to DK Pass T. Uh, well, definitely gonna use Pink Gold Peach, right? This is the DK Jumbo, the Chrome DK Jumbo. Actually, this card was level three previously, and then I just used most of my tickets to get it up to level five. So yeah, there you go, level seven Gold Glider. Because I kind of saw the Chrome DK Jumbo was quite useful in some of these old tracks, so why not? I just uh, get it up to level 5. And since I had like 20 over of those level up tickets for super cards, so yeah, I just used um, kind of half of them to get this Chrome DK Jumbo up to level 5. Ooh, quite a big air. So we're gonna get. Three people with that super horn. Didn't expect like those three people were in close proximity with me. Ooh, now we have a coin box. Now we're talking. Okay, thank you, King Boo, for the red shell hit. Was able to make use of that coin box since most of them landed just in front of me. I'm gonna have to use it right here. Uh, kind of have to burn it because of how the next uh, ooh, the next box was there. I think I still have the non-stop combo up and running. So coming into lap lap two with hundred combos streak right here. And there is the blue shell. Let me use a ticket right here. Okay, still have the combo, surprisingly. Oh my god! I was totally expecting to get hit by that snowball right there. And we're gonna have a super horn frenzy. I guess we'll be placing in second place since Pauline had the lead or having the lead right here. And there we go, second place. But we got we did got a non-stop combo with a total score of 37,463 points. And maybe if I got in first place I would definitely uh, get past that 40,000 barrier. But I guess I'll take that 37k. Still pretty good actually. Still very very good. 11.6k for 5 stars, 110 coins. I think we got like two coin boxes like that in this race, as well as 20 tokens. And we have another tour challenge done, let's see what this challenge is. It's gonna be in the total points challenge sheet 2, 3 rubies as well as 1 cart points cap up ticket for super carts, 
as we pass the 500,000 points threshold. Let's go into the shop and let's see what I can get from my daily selects. I'm gonna get this ticket, cart point boost ticket right there. And why not, I'll just take this driver's club ticket as well. And I'm gonna open up the available target. It's gonna be one box. We have the glider ticket, specifically the point boost ticket as well as the high-end skill up ticket. And open up, opening up the hammer bro cup. So after this, we only have one more cup to open up. But that will be about it for this recording. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for the final recording part for episode 2 with Choco Island 2R with Bowser Jr. Alrighty guys, we're back here today for the final recording part for episode 2 of our walkthrough on the Singapore tour. It is the 17th of January today and it's day 6 of the tour and it looks like for my quick play today is going to be Bowser Jr. But it's going to be having that Tokens of Plenty event going to be falling on this cup, whatever cup this is. So I'm just going to go on and play this through and let's see where, where which cup it is after. So SNES Choco Island 2R in the Bowser Jr. Cup. We have also the DK Jumbo Kart as well as, is that the Rose Glider? The Rose Parasol, yeah, that was what I meant. The Rose Parasol, which I actually just got it from the Pauline Pipe yesterday. Or the previous recording, in that sense. From the viewer's sense. And we're starting off this race with a Banana Frenzy. I'm gonna throw some of these, or most of these, forward, I guess. Ooh, Double Mushroom in second. Gonna use those double mushrooms for the shortcut and now we are in the second lap with 45 uh, of those combo streaks. So many bananas around. Red Shell took forever. Ooh, perfect timing for that. We're gonna destroy the spiny shell with the super horn as we come into the freezer line, finishing first place, non-stop combo, 19,483 points. And my player account leveled up to 148, just two more levels to go until the maximum level. 100 coins from the level up reward. My Bowser Jr. leveling up to 780. 6.9k for 5 stars, we got 43 coins as well as 89 tokens since 80 came from the tokens of plenty events so actually i just only got a nine from this from that race but anyways let's open up the tcp for today day what is the day today is it day uh, it's day number f uh, six right 1.5k coins well it's actually from buzzer jr since he's already uh, fully leveled up so yeah that's where i'm gonna be get getting my coins at do jump boost we have wendy on mario circuit one, I believe, if I remember correctly, is Mario Circuit one that exists in this tour. I think we have three Mario Circuits, right? The fr from the SNES, and they kind of take turns to uh, appear in these tours. So I think in this tour, this is Mar Mario Circuit one, the most basic, the most uh, shortest one. They're gonna land on the Goombas to get that extra one jump boost. Random cones, but okay. There we go, 12. Jump boost the maximum, I guess, that you can say. So maybe it's gonna be like maybe 10, or maybe they just actually force you to get 12 to get the three star requirement. So let's see how it is, 10. So you can basically only miss two of those jump boosts throughout this track, and then you can get those three stars. But yeah, we got the maximum, which is always the best thing to get. And that's gonna be the Bowser Jr. Cup finished and we're just uh, down to the final races here today and just gonna go on with Neo Bowser CDR because I would like to play as Daisy Swimwear in tomorrow's today's challenge or the first recording part for next episode so we have quite a few number of characters up here I'll go with of course Gold Koopa Free Running and then go with the Batwagon as well as the level 7 Cloud Glider so this is pretty interesting I have like level 5, level 6 and level 7 uh, items that I'm using right now. Not really items, I, I'm, sure, I'm, not, I'm not sure what kind of class that we can say for drivers, cars, and glider. I think it's the combos, I guess. I'm not too sure what you call them. Because actually, to call them like drivers, cars, and gliders in full is actually a little bit tiring. 
Okay, we are going to be starting off this race with a coin frenzy. Oh, I missed all, the, all those coins right there, unfortunately. Did not get a mini turbo there. Instant red shell throw. Did not get a mini turbo there as well. I, I also missed all of the coins right there. How unfortunate. And we have a super horn frenzy as we come into the second lap right here. Okay, my hand uh, kind of slipped off the screen somehow, but okay, I'm gonna lose the combo there again. This part is actually really, really hard to try and maintain combo because of if you kind of drift, uh, like when you are holding against yourself on the wall, it's gonna not really count the mini turbo, or I guess the mini turbo will just sometimes not come out. So that's the tricky part right there. So unfortunately, no coin box in this race. But we did got a full 3 frenzy race for this one, which is surprising. And there we go, first place finish with a total score of 27,084 points. And we did we got 3 frenzies though, coin frenzy, we got a green shell frenzy at the end, I, I kind of forgot what frenzy we did got in the middle. But yeah, it is 3 frenzies, we did not get any single coin boxes though, which is quite unfortunate in that sense. But okay, we'll take it, 6.3k for 5 stars, 77 coins and 12 tokens. And I'm going to open the Pauline Cup, the final cup for this tour. And yeah, we have three more cups to go. Or technically 2.8 <laughs> more cups to go, I guess, because I already uh, raced on one. So tokens are plenty of event for me, Bowser Jr. Cup. I'm just going to do those two races off camera. I'm going to go on into the shop and let's see what I can grab for myself in the daily selects. I have this uh, driver point boost ticket. I guess I also grab this Poltergust 4000. 204 level 4 and gonna grab these rubies coins and wherever I can grab them so I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys a little bit Alright, there we go. I've used up most, all of my tokens that I can right now, so just a few more tickets to go. And of course, it's gonna be easy because we still have like over a, a week to go for this tour. But yeah, that's gonna be about it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys uh, next time for episode 3 as we finish off the tour and get a proper uh, or official announcement on the next tour, which is of course gonna be the Wario vs Waluigi tour. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Bye bye and happy Mario Karting. See ya!